uh, one of my favorites when I was a kid, my mom used to make blueberry muffins for breakfast. Um, one key, one of the secret for it, it has to be very creamy and we need to have a nice crumb. Uh, I don't like when my um, muffins are really like dry. So one of the key ingredients that I have, it's either sour cream or creme fraiche if you have. We're gonna start with measuring our sh sugar. Um, you need, you know, I recommend that you use a scale to measure your ingredients. It makes your life so much easier and it's consistency. So every time you make it, it's the same. Um, you know, if you use the gram, our metric system, one plus one equals two. So it makes it a lot easier. The first step is we need to cream the butter and the sugar. So here I have some butter that I softened already. Um, I took it out of the refrigerator about half an hour ago. And if you're in a rush and you don't have it ready, you can always flush it in the microwave. Uh, microwave is a great tool to use uh, in the kitchen. So here I have 150 grams of butter. Okay, good, perfect. Now I'm gonna add some sugar. There's a, a lot of sugar, it's about 450 grams. And then we're gonna mix those two together. Perfect. Use the paddle, not the whisk. And then after that, I'm gonna get all of my dry ingredients together. Always when you start with a mixer, you need to go on first gear so it doesn't splash everywhere. Now, what I need to do is measure my flour. And what I like to do as well is when you use especially baking soda and baking powder, we want to make sure that those two are mixed evenly into the flour so, so you, don't have to, you don't want to have a chunk. So, put my flour in it. Ah, perfect amount. So the next step is you need to tear your scale so you start over at zero. Now I have my baking soda, three grams. And as you walk, you always want to make sure that you walk clean. So every, everything that you have, you're done with it, you just put it out of the way. So you, you don't have a massive amount of like balls and mixing. So, you know, when you walk, you have tendency to like bang into something when you're like reaching out for another ingredient. So what, when you're done, you just put everything away so it's no longer on your way. Now, tail again. I'm going to put my salt, which is about four grams. The amount of salt, you know, you can ch change that. It's, you know, it's, it's up to you. You know, if you like a little more or a little less, that's okay. Tail again. Now we're going to add my baking powder. Okay. Done. Put it away. And now I'm going to mix everything. What I like to use is an ice cream scooper. And I'm also going to use that scooper for scaling the base, the, the muffin base, into the, the paper cup. So I don't make a mess. And also, they, if you take a scoop and it's nice and full, you scoop it into the mold and, and every muffin will be uh, consistent. Now it's good. This out of the way. Now I have my butter and sugar, they're nice and creamy. I can speed up the, uh, the process. What I have here is three eggs. So when you add eggs into a mix like that, you don't want to whip the eggs at all. You just want to add the eggs into the mix. So you always make sure that you go down on the first gear and you don't need to whip it at all. Because if you whip your eggs, what's gonna happen the mix is going to be really fluffy and then when it bakes it's going to like go really high and then usually it comes off the, the paper cup and it makes like a big mess. So you just want to add the eggs as is. Now I go on first gear, one at a time. And the mix is going to look broken because the eggs is not going to uh, incorporate very well with the fat. Side. Now I got all my dry ingredients ready. I'm gonna stop this, and then I have a trick for my blueberries. Uh, I use frozen blueberries, um, which is a little bit better for for baking the muffins. And one trick that I have is 
you know, when we make usually blueberries, they have tendency to stick to the bottom of the cup. And what I want to do with this and is to cover them with a thin layer of sugar. I'm sorry, a thin layer of flour. So they get coated with flour, and then when they start baking, they will remain into the mix. They won't sink into the bottom. And also, by doing this, and again, it's a matter of preference, I don't want my, my muffin batter to turn purple because it's never a very nice, uh, nice color. I want to remain the batter nice and white so you can see the blueberries on the inside. And the, the flour will prevent from the... Uh, from the blueberries to bleed. Okay. Now, using the forks. When you use frozen blueberries, when you take them out of the refrigerator or the freezer, they're gonna start releasing um, re humidity. So this is how the flour is going to stick to them. Because if you're using fresh, uh, fresh blueberries, they will not, the flour will not stick to them. So for the blueberries, you can do two things. You can use frozen blueberries, and you can also use fresh blueberries. Uh, if you're going to use fresh, then you put them in the freezer for about 20 minutes uh, so they get nice and hard, and then the flour will stick to them. And then now in our bowl, we have our consistency of eggs, sugar, and butter, and it looks a little bit weird. It looks like broken. The eggs will not uh, mix with the, the butter and the sugar, but I also don't want that to happen. I just want to add the eggs. I don't want to create any volume with the eggs, it's just uh, combining uh, ingredients. That, that's it, nothing more. So, you know, you make sure you scrape the side before you add your dry ingredients. Like that. And then now we're gonna start adding the dry ingredients, a little bit at a time. We stop the mixer, and start adding. So for this amount, you can just add it in two time. That's okay. And you don't want to mix the batter too much. You know, you don't want to develop the gluten uh, in the flour. You just want to mix. That's the only thing you want to do. The rest, there you go. And then next, I'm going to add my key ingredients. Sour cream or creme fraiche. Whatever it's available, both recipe works the same, uh, both ingredients work the same, and the uh, same amount in the recipe. No need to change anything. So now everything is combined. I'm going to stop, and I'm going to measure my uh, sour cream. And that's a decent amount. Uh, for this recipe, it's about 450 grams, uh, which seems like a, a lot, but that's the, what's going to make the, uh, the muffin taste good. So back on the scale, of course, and then we're going to measure 450 grams. All right, almost perfect. Stuff away. And then now we're going to add the cream. You can add everything at once. That's okay. Same thing, first gear. No need to mix too much, just enough to incorporate. You can give it like a quick mix like that, but that's it. Now I'm gonna stop and I'm going to incorporate my blueberries. And I do that with the spatula so, so I, they don't break. You know, if you put it in a mixer with a paddle, the paddle is so powerful then they're gonna start breaking apart. And I like my blueberries when the blueberries don't bleed into the batter. I like to keep the batter nice and white so you can see the blueberries when it's cooked. Okay, finish with the spatula. And usually you have to finish with the spatula because the paddle not necessarily touch the bottom of the bowl, so you always have a little bit of, um, of batter that is not uh, mixed very well. Okay. Looks nice. Now I'm gonna add my blueberries. There we go. And 
by having the blueberries coated with flour, they are not bleeding into the mix. Just mix just enough. And the amount of blueberries, you know, you can add more, you can add less. Uh, you know, this is what baking is all about. Perfect. So now I'm going to clean up in the front of you. Remove all the balls and all that stuff you don't need. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. Uh, one of, a teaspoon. There you go. You can add the vanilla um, either at the end or you can also add it uh, when you cream the butter and sugar. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna make a, a topping for my muffins. I like to have different textures. So I'm gonna make like a, a strew so it's gonna add a crunch to, uh, to the softness of the crumb from the muffins. Very easy. Uh, what I did is I measured 100 grams of, <coughs> of each, one uh, flour, AP flour. So it's very simple, just put everything in the bowl, uh, sugar, and almond flour. I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna mix everything together. And I always add some salt, you know, to, to balance a little bit of your ingredients, you know, that's, What's very important is the sweet and salty. You know, a lot of the desserts out there are really, really sweet. So make sure that you cut a little bit back on the sugar and make sure you add a little bit of salt to, to have that little, um, um, take some of the sweetness off your palate. So the amount of salt is, is up to you. But I like to have a little bit of saltiness. So now what I need to do also is one, 100 grams of butter, which is very easy. A stick of butter, it's about 114 grams, so you just, you know, it's okay if you have a little bit of butter. It's never enough butter. And then you make sure it's cold, and then you're gonna add it, little chunks. And then what's gonna happen? The butter is gonna break down little pieces, and they're gonna coat, coat it with the flour, sugar, and the almond flour. And it, it won't mix like a dough. You want that crumb. And then when this is mixing, I got my muffin pans ready to go. I line them with uh, little, little cups. So I like to use a brown cup, you know, it gives it that more classic look. Uh, of course, they come in different, uh, different colors, some are a little too crazy, but I like everything to look classic and, and natural. So I got my brown cup, line them in the muffin pans, uh, muffin comes um, in different size, different, uh, so you can make big ones, little ones, uh, you can make mini ones, uh, like a bite size. Um, but I'm gonna do the classic one today. My strusel is almost ready. If you see like little chunks of butter, you gotta keep on mixing. Again, consistency in the, in the mix and the recipe is very important. So every time you make something, it's the same every single time. So now that I have my uh, uh, muffin pan lined up with the, the little paper cup, um, I'm gonna start scooping my, uh, my muffin butter. Another trick that I just like to do too is to put my muffin uh, tray into a regular tray. So when I take it out of the oven, I have a better grip. When I take it, you know, I can use a, a towel not to burn myself and then I'm away from, from uh, the, the muffin pan. So I don't I have a much better grip and then I don't have uh, any chance to touch um, the muffins itself. Um, you don't need to spread the little cup, you know, you can be ready to go and it's so much, uh, you know, fat into the mix that they will be just fine. My, my strusel is ready. So, I'm gonna take it out. Something that you can do with the strusel uh, is you can make it, make it in advance and you can keep it as long as you want. What you do is you keep it in a freezer, put it in a box, nice and tight, and it's actually a lot better, so when you need it, if you want to cover your muffins, you have uh, a little crumb that's already nice and cold, so it makes it easier to put on each muffin. And it's always ready in the freezer. And you can even cook some for yourself, just like that, and then top it with your ice creams. Now, I need to scoop the muffin batter. What I use is an ice cream scooper. So each cup will be nice and even. It's about the same. And it's nice 
and clean. I don't make a mess. So about one scoop per one and a half scoop. And what you can do also, if it sticks a little bit, is you can dip the spoon in water. Everybody knows how to scoop ice cream, so it's the same idea. So now I just fill up my cups. And as you can see, my blueberries, they haven't bleed yet. They're just the way I wanted to keep them. So now that I have scooped all of my muffins, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of strusso before I put it in the oven. So you just put a handful. So you have a nice crunch. So you want the, the strusso to be um, like little chunks. You don't want it to be mixed together when you have like a, like a dough. You want the like unconsistent uh, chunks. Now you have big ones, little ones. And we're going to bake those at 325. Um, if you have an oven that has a fan, it's always better. If not, the regular way, which is going to take a little bit longer, the classic way. Yeah, ready. And then the strusso, again, you know, you can keep it in the freezer for future um, muffin making or covering your ice cream. Now I have leftover uh, batter. Same thing, you can keep it in the refrigerator if you're going to use it uh, fairly soon. If not, you know, put in a Tupperware, make sure it's nice and sealed, and then put it in a freezer, and then whenever you want to make some, just make sure you take it maybe like an hour or so uh, before you're going to use it, and then you're ready to scoop. In the oven. All right, now it's time to check on our muffins. Come with me. So the way I do to make sure if they cook or not, is I take a little knife and I'm gonna stick the blade in one of them all the way to the center and then bring it back up. And if the blade comes out clean, that means they are cooked, which they are. Like I mentioned before, when I'm gonna take it out of the oven, I have a better grip because I put the tray, the muffin tray on a sheet pan. I'll take him out. Look at that, beautiful. So I'm gonna put them right here, and we're gonna let them cool down before we remove them from, from the pan. If you're not gonna use all those muffins today and you wanna save some for tomorrow, there's a great way to, to preserve them. What you're gonna do is put them uh, in a Tupperware and make sure that they are cold. You know, you don't, because if you, do, if you don't do that, what's gonna happen when you close the container, it's gonna be some condensation, and the condensation is gonna make your muffin very moist and soggy. When they're cold, put it in a Tupperware, put the lid on, put it in a freezer, and then the next day, when you're ready for them, you just take them out of the freezer, flash them in the oven, because if you let them defrost, they're gonna get very moist on the center, which you don't want. What you wanna do is bring back that crunchiness on the outside from the strusser and from the skin of the muffins. Put it back in the oven for five minutes, 350, and it'll be ready to go. Okay, so now our muffins are ready. They've been uh, out of the oven. They've been cooling down for about 20 minutes, you know, to make sure they're not, not too warm. It's better when they cool down before you eat it. Now we're just gonna finish them with a little bit of powdered sugar. And then we're gonna put them in a nice serving piece. The amount of sugar is up to you, but you just want to see the crumb, the blueberries, and the muffin. So not too much. So now we're going to do a, a beautiful breakfast basket. You have to make it sexy, so it makes it appealing to the idea. Voilà.